Aloha, welcome back. Um, my name's Emily Sterling, and I'm here with my dog at his studio. Thank you for having us. It's a us. pleasure. I'm, yeah. I'm having a good day, and <laughs> I, I'm glad that I got to show you our studio home, yard, and garden. Yeah, awesome. If well, you don't mind um, sharing a little bit about yourself and how you began your artist journey here in Hawaii. Yeah, well, uh, so for the first half of my life, I enjoyed the Caribbean. And in, then in 86, I came to Hawaii to paint the uh, Paul Mitchell solar car, of all things. <clears throat> in Florida, I was an airbrush artist on auto art, uh, motorcycles, race cars. If it rolled, I painted it or lettered it or pinstriped it, and that was the life. And so they flew me here to paint this race car, and when I landed, I said, I need to be in Hawaii. You've been woodworking for a very, very long time. Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, that, that goes way back to Miami days. I was, I grew up on Miami River, you know, in Miami Beach. You've heard of these uh, Biscayne <laughs> Bay. Yeah. All of this was uh, Miami was a water town, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> everybody has a boat. Mm -hmm. And it, even if you're in the Everglades, it's uh, air boats. Yeah. But it, you went fishing everywhere. I went fishing from one end of Miami to the other at growing up as a youth. And I was apprenticed to a master wooden boat builder who did, who built and repaired Chris Crafts boats, mahogany boats, back in the day when they were wood mm -hmm. before they went to fiberglass. Mm -hmm. So from the ages of seven to 14, I apprenticed to this master carpenter as his tool go-getter, and learn how to do everything. So he kind of taught me the art of uh, how to make anything in wood. Uh, table saw magic, band saw magic, and yeah. boats or everything has a curve on it. So it's yeah. a special kind of wood, you know, and, and different techniques. So there's a strong wooden background mm -hmm. throughout my whole career. Mm -hmm. And then wood turning came a little and bit later. Wood turning came later when Dennis Hakes mm -hmm who was showing at Gretchen Groves Gallery in downtown Hilo, mm -hmm. asked Gretchen to have that man that comes in and makes these beautiful <laughs> wooden mirrors with that awesome finish on it, ask him if he'll paint one of my bowls. Mm -hmm. So in 2007, I painted a bowl for Dennis Hicks, my very first mm -hmm. turn bowl. And it came out really well, and we liked it. I took him to another gallery mm -hmm. who asked, would you bring me more of those? And I went back to Dennis to ask him if he'd make them, and I'd embellish them. And then he said, well, he's just moved from his house, and his new house will not have a shop up and running for maybe a year. And I go, well, that doesn't work. So he said, here, take my lathe. So I took the lathe home, and I used his lathe, but I didn't know how to really turn bolts, so I took lessons from Elmer Adams. And Elmer said, yeah, kid, you got it. You can do it. So <laughs> I now switched hats, and I became a bowl turner. And now I really like embellishing them. And you always really like to incorporate a lot of um, the, the plants and animals that we see around here. Yeah, into that's, your work. that's Hawaii Nay. Yeah, and I'm inspired, inspired by walking around. Yeah. And the, the mm -hmm. this, is, this is Birds in Paradise. Mm -hmm. This was my Big Island wood turner entry. Les Peterson turned this bowl mm -hmm. and I embellished it. Mm -hmm. And it's a couple of birds in paradise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Birds in paradise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a, a wood burner. Set. Old burner days. This has a, a two port burner. It, this makes a line. See how it's mm -hmm. a, like if you put it next to that. This one makes a dot. You can see them up close. One is a, a line mm -hmm. maker, and the other is a dotter. So if you look at this, all the lines are drawn with this one, and all the dots are done with that one. And, and generally, when I do a bowl, I follow the contours and the lines of the grain, because that defines it. This over here hasn't been burned, so that gives you a better definition of how the line of the bowl will define the pattern that I'll put through here. Mm -hmm. To me, when I look at that, I see the mountains of Hawaii, or the ocean wave going through, or clouds in the sky. 
journals are good to have. The mm -hmm. teacher professor says, always do your journal. So my journal is the path of where it's going and what I'm doing. Like here's the bowl right there. So I just got it finished. Mm -hmm. So I take a photograph and document where it's going to go. I ship stuff out, priority mails to keep stuff in track. These are my three entries for a viewpoint show, gallery show mm -hmm. that I sent off, you know. Uh, just stuff. Oh, I just sent that one away. This went to uh, um, an auction in the AAW. It's called a nesting set. It's the Hawaiian honey creeper. It was a fundraiser for wood turners. <laughs> There you go. So, so I'm working on this piece for this year's Hawaii Day entry, and it's oil on canvas. You see, it's a canvas, and um, basically it's my style of burning, which is done on canvas. So I pretty much draw a dark line. It's like with a pen tail pen drawing kind of thing that I color in. Um, I still have to paint the, the top with warmer, hotter colors. I think I'm going to have a dolphin jumping through up here. It's not done yet. It's an emerging design. Still got to paint the jack. And the turtle needs more color in here. But it, it's a fun painting. And I want to make a nice frame for it. So I still got time. And I am working on a new koa bowl. And this was rough turned years ago. And as a block of wood in this shape, it's been sitting around drying, waiting for me to get back to it. And then I remount it on the lathe and I cut it to the thickness that I want and the shape that I want. And basically a lathe is, uh, allows us to spin a piece of wood and shave it with a knife. These are called turning knives. This is a, a tool rest. And I'll turn it up to get it to speed that I like. And normally I should be wearing a face mask and face shields, but I'm not gonna do a, a long cut. You come over here and you engage on the bevel and push into the cutting knife and then I just cut. Basically that's how it's made. This is locked in a chuck. When I'm making it, I cut a tendon on the bottom. This is called a tendon, so I can grab it on the lathe, which is this right here. This is a chuck. Same thing, there's a tendon on the back. So then I put it in here and I tighten it down and it holds it tight. Now this is ready to sand. I would move this stuff out of the way and I would come here and I would sand this slow it down to uh, slow speed and I can do it with uh, either sandpaper or I can use my sanding tools, sander tools, you know, make noise, make sawdust, <laughs> or I can just get a piece of this stuff and I can peel off a piece of sandpaper and I can come over here and I can just sit here for a, it might take me an hour to sand this completely all sides and everywhere but I got to start with a course and then I get finer and finer and then I usually finish up with 400 or 600 grit this is 80 grit then I go to 120 220 320 400 600 polished done so that's about an hour's worth of sanding and then I'll have a nice platter then I come over to my bandsaw and I cut it round, sort of round, so that I could cut a platter out of that. You can see there's a platter in there if I wanted to make a platter. 
or I could make a shallow bowl. It could be a shallow bowl. I start with little pieces, any any kind of, you know. This is jacaranda wood. It's a real colorful, light, light colored wood. I have an inventory that's gonna last a long time. Take it from a raw log to a bowl. <laughs> from the tree to the table is the phrase. From the tree to the table. Just have fun making art and having uh, camaraderie and talking and talking story and showing each other techniques of how to make art. That's the whole idea I like about Hawaiian A is you're inspired by everything around you that makes you want to make something beautiful. Yeah, and capture it. Just capture yeah. it somehow, whether it's yeah. a photograph, a painting, mm -hmm. a weaving, a biography, yeah. um, mm -hmm. a glass, yeah. a card.